Hi guys, my name is Drew Brashler. I'm the audio technician here at Northridge Community Church. I wanted to first off thank you for putting your interest out there for joining our audio team here at Northridge. Um, we have uh, this digital board uh, here in the worship center and also in the ridge. And so this, uh, these couple videos are going to be training you a little bit more on just basic mixing. Uh, I also have a whole lot of videos here on uh, YouTube on more advanced uh, things like adding in effects and different compression and gating. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me directly too, and I can give you a little bit of training on, uh, on a Sunday. Um, so on the board here, we have two different things. We have our left fader bank and our right fader bank. And so the left fader bank is going to be um, our instruments um, so on, on here we have our vocal microphones, our choir, our electric guitars, keyboards, uh, bass, different things like that. Now we have four buttons over here on the left hand side of the board. We have channel 1 through 16, channel 7 through, through two, 17 through 32, aux in, uh, and effects returns, and bus master. So this is what we call layers. So these are the different layers of the board, kind of like layers of a cake. Um, now when we press this, it actually switches the whole board over. So like here is my drums, and so you'll see this. When we press 1 through 16, it'll switch back to channels 1 through 16, and then we switch back to channel 7 through 32. These are the different instruments that we have at the church. And so that's 17 through 32. The next button down is going to be our aux in and effects return. So aux in would mean our CD player or our computer. Uh, and then over here on the right side of the board, um, or the right side of this fader bank, we have our effects return. So these are, um, check out my other videos that I have a little bit about effects. But uh, we have a uh, vocal reverb, uh, an instrument reverb, a tap delay, and then an additional effect that we use. Um, so these are just to give a little bit more depth to the to the music here. Um, and then below that is our bus master. Uh, this is all of our masters uh, on the bus send. So this is what we think of as an aux send. Um, so here at the church, we have six monitors. And so monitor one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, these are the different monitors that the musicians listen to. Um, and so these are the master levels of what's being sent out to those. Um, seven through 12 is going to be our mix buses. Um, and so this is where we would take a couple different instruments and put them together in one group. For instance, the drums. We have the kick drum, the snare, two toms, an overhead, everything like that. And so we take all of those instruments, so all of those microphones, all six right here, and we take these and put them into one uh, bus, which is our drum mix bus. And that way we have an overall level adjustment in the mix um, over all the drums with one knob. And then over on the right side here, we have our effects sends. So this is how we send um, our different instruments or vocals into the effects processor to be able to create the different effects that we have. And then on the right-hand side of the board, this is what I call the right fader bank. Um, this is where we have our DCAs, which is, stands for Direct Controlled Amplifier, or I'm sorry, Digitally Controlled Amplifier. Got to get my terms straight here. And so we can see that we have vocal, we have drums, uh, guitar, lead guitar, different things like that. And so this is a remote control to a fader. So all of my vocal channels, I can take this fader and turn it up or down if I was wanting to take all my my vocals up or down in the mix. Um, I also have guitars, so I could take um, all the guitars up or down in the mix, rather than going to the other side of the board over here and mixing, messing up my mix here. This is really, really good for the drums. Um, now, these faders, um, these are logarithmic faders, or an audio fader. So at the bottom of the fader, and here, let me go ahead and zoom in on one of these real quick so you guys can see this. At the bottom of the fader, there is a, you can see right here, you can see negative 60, negative 50. This is a decibel scale. Um, and so we can turn this up um, by decibels, but the lower the fader is, the larger the range that it's going to move. And then at the higher end, we can see that there's a longer throw that we have to make to move it five decibels. So up here at zero, if I was to take this and move this up to here, 
So about a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, that's raising it five decibels. But if I was down in the lower part, if I was to raise this a quarter of an inch, um, that would actually bring it up about 10 decibels. So we want to make sure that we have good gain on all of the knobs, um, and I'll be teaching you guys that here in a little bit. But the mix, uh, but the DCAs allow you to change the overall um, level of the drums. So say you had your kick drums in a good uh, mix and then your snare drum was right and your toms were correct and your overhead was great. Instead of taking six fingers and raising this up or down, you can just take this one fader over here where the DCA is and turn it up or down. And that allows us to adjust that. Um, now on the uh, right side of the board, we also have our bus uh, one through eight fader layer, sorry, and bus 9 through 16 layer, and then also matrix sends, which we use matrix uh, here at the church for sending our audio out to our different things like our main PA, our speakers that we have outside, or the world send, which is what we use for all the recording side of things. So the next video that I'm going to be showing you guys is channel gain. So basically getting a channel set up for the right amount of gain, which we call unity gain, uh, and being able to have all of these faders up in the zero range. So we can have a lot of um, minute adjustments that we can make to the signals um, by keeping them up in the unity gain section. So go on to the next video.